Yes, yes, fermentation. The gut is connected to the rest of our body, including our skin, and the foods that we eat can have a big impact. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Today, we're getting down to the nitty gritty of gut health with a superstar in the field of food as medicine, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee isn't your average doc. He's a world-renowned physician and researcher who's on a mission to prove that food can be some of the most powerful medicine we have. Forget pills and potions, Dr. Lee believes the key to preventing and even reversing chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease lies on your plate. He's the president of the Angiogenesis Foundation, which studies how what we eat impacts the blood vessels throughout our body. This groundbreaking research has led Dr. Lee to champion a plant-based approach packed with powerful ingredients. His best-selling book, Eat to Beat Disease, has become a global phenomenon, and for good reason. Dr. Lee doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the walk. He's a passionate advocate for using delicious, natural foods to supercharge your health and well-being. So, if you're looking to create snacks which can transform your gut health and unlock the power of food as medicine, you've come to the right place. Now, Dr. Lee will tell us about a few of the ingredients in the first snack. And eight jars of kimchi. That over thousands of years, uh, kimchi itself has become such a tradition that it's actually developed its own special kimchi bacteria. So uh, one of these kimchi bacteria actually fights viruses and can actually fl lower the uh, incidence of flu. From a fermented powerhouse packed with gut-friendly bacteria to our next ingredient to keep your microbiome happy and thriving. What happens is that dietary fiber feeds our gut bacteria. Our gut bacteria thrive and they produce all these anti-inflammatory compounds. So what are some foods um, uh, that, that are good for dietary fiber? Well, great news, legumes, uh, white beans, navy beans, black beans, um, uh, edamame, soybeans, all great for you. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Now, the next ingredient. Well, it turns out that extra virgin olive oil turns out to be really helpful for our stem cells. It protects our stem cells as we age. And not surprisingly, in the blue zones, those parts of the world where people live really to healthy, ripe old ages, over 100, for example, centenarians, they tend to eat olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, which by the way comes from a plant. It's a plant-based healthy fat. The first snack is prebiotic powerhouse, kimchi or sauerkraut, a tangy duo rich in probiotics to support gut flora, black beans, a prebiotic powerhouse providing fiber to feed good bacteria, extra virgin olive oil, healthy fats to support gut lining health. And now for ingredients for the second snack. Okay, all right, so then we got Parmesan cheese. Again, there was this whole backlash cheese for a while. Everyone told you not to eat cheese, then it's eat hard cheese. Uh, now you're saying that cheese has this benefit, the same as sourdough bread. Yeah, well, listen, this is a, this is a way that science can help clear up confusion. Here's okay. what we know. Cheese and breads are sometimes probiotic foods, which means that they're made with good bacteria. We know that you want good, healthy gut bacteria mm -hmm. for your health. And there's a new thing that says that our gut health is connected to our hair health. You've got beautiful hair. And so here's the whole thing. There's one bacteria called Lactobacillus ruteri, which happens to naturally occur in Parmesan cheese, and it's in the starter for sourdough bread and pumpernickel bread. And Lactobacillus? Lactobacillus ruteri. 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 That's all you And remember. that's in cheese and in the starter of sourdough, sourdough bread. bread. That's not something we would see on the label. You might not. So you're informing us that um, it's there. And what does it do for us again? It actually makes your hair luxurious. In what quantity? Well, so... Because <laughs> I'm about to eat this whole thing, <laughs> if this is true. Here's the whole thing. It is just one additional way that we actually know that eating uh, this bacteria is good for you. It has a probiotic, but this is now giving you permission to actually lean into the foods that you actually already love to be able to have some of it, because it's not so bad for you. It actually might be good for you and good for your hair. Okay, so like a few ounces? Yeah, a few ounces. A couple of slices? A week. Uh, uh, actually, you... So studies have actually shown a couple of slices of cheese a day is actually can be actually good for your health as well. Okay, and how does it make us feel? What about the feeling yeah. that we so get So here's the great part. Lactobacillus ruteri is not only good for our hair, it also stimulates our brains to release a social hormone called oxytocin, mm -hmm. which is the hormone that makes you feel good when you see a friend, when you hug a family member that you like, or when you have a kiss or even an orgasm. 
This is my cheese. I'm not sharing it. <laughs> okay. So, doctor, before you go, just to clarify, you are saying that this cheese, this bread, the lactobacillus ruteri, ruteri, yeah, sets off hormones. Yes, it actually natural brain hormones that actually are social hormones. So they actually make us feel good. They can reduce stress. Uh, they they punch up our mood. And basically, when you actually feel good on the inside and you look good on the outside, you feel less stress anyway. has probiotics which promotes gut health. Here's the second snack. Fermented feast, sauerkraut and sourdough toast. A classic gut-friendly combo. Sourdough's fermentation process promotes digestive health, while sauerkraut adds probiotics. Pro tip. Warm your sauerkraut slightly before topping to enhance flavors, but avoid overheating to preserve beneficial bacteria. Parmigiano Reggiano. A sprinkle of cheese offers some more probiotic benefits. For the third snack. How many varieties of apples do you think there are? Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm in the produce section again, and I'm in front of a whole bunch of apples and pears. Look, I love apples. You've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. Guess what that does? That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat again. Good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. The next ingredient is packed with prebiotics, the fuel that keeps your good gut bacteria feasting and your digestive system functioning smoothly. Leafy greens, lettuce, kale, broccoli, great sources of fiber. Arugula is the leafy green that will be highlighted in the third snack which is Cheesy Crunch. Sliced apples offer prebiotics that support gut health. For the best texture and to prevent browning, sprinkle them with a bit of lemon juice after slicing. Camembert Cheese. For a sweet and savory combo with added probiotics, pair camembert cheese with fruits like figs or apples. For the best flavor and texture, take camembert out of the fridge about 30 minutes before serving to let it soften and reach room temperature. Arugula. Leafy greens, like arugula or watercress, add a peppery touch and essential vitamins to your dishes. For the freshest taste, wash and dry them thoroughly before serving. And now, Dr. Lee will talk about some of the ingredients in the fourth snack. A lot of people don't know that bok choy, which is sort of core to Chinese cooking, um, actually is a relative of broccoli. It's in the same family of brassica. And the great thing about brassica and bok choy is that it actually contains a natural chemical called sulforaphane. Sulforaphanes actually protect your metabolism because when you actually eat baby bok choy, this sulforaphane, this natural substance, actually tames your appetite so you tend not to overeat. The other thing it does is it actually helps you lower the fat mass in your body, the harmful fat, and it actually um, uh, helps your uh, lipids. So it actually helps you control your blood cholesterol as well. On top of that, it activates your body's health defenses. There's nothing bad about well-cooked baby bok choy, especially when you put it with fresh garlic. Let's take a nutty turn and explore the next ingredient. You guys, some, some of you have been seeing these, these are the walnuts. Walnuts are some of my favorite. Walnuts have actually been shown to improve your immune system by activating, feeding your gut microbiome. And when that actually happens, it actually makes your body respond better to uh, med medicines. Specifically, the study was done in patients with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer, getting regular cancer treatment, um, including nuts in their diet, actually lowered their mortality by more than 50%. So here's an example of something that your doctor's not gonna prescribe, but that I would actually encourage you to eat if you're battling cancer 
to feed your gut, improve your immune system, help your immune, your own bodies, the health defenses, fight disease. And of course, a uh, good, healthy immune system also prevents diseases uh, as well. My gut is always right, okay? Here is the fourth snack for a healthy gut, pickled power punch, bok choy and kimchi salad. A vibrant salad with pickled vegetables for probiotic benefits. Walnuts. Add protein, healthy fats, and a satisfying crunch. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.